a king's parents, his father, his uncle, and his mom, came to my house, sat in my living room, and talked to me for a good two hours about what I can do for their son, about what my business was about, and if I really thought that they could go to the next level. And I looked them in their face, and I said yes. And his parents was like, well, he's never been this far away from us, and, you know, we just want to make sure that he's safe, because I could get to him, but it'll take me a minute to get to him. We laughed, and I said, he's good. I'm going to make sure that they okay. The Final Destination music is killing me, but yeah, y'all know how I am in receipt. What the fuck, bro? Huh? What the hoes do? Yeah. Nick, you can't rap. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. Nigga Satan on me, that's a good joke. Uh. Five, four, three, two, that go to gun smoke. Uh. I do the shit for fun, just like my videos. <laughs> All right, y'all, we on part two where she speaks about Nick and King and saying her piece about that. I'm eating some wings. I heard her music is loud on this video too, so let's get it. We're going to start off by that five how we got connected with our old manager. First thing first, I was with another network, me and me, we were with another network and stuff like that, and had another manager, you know what I'm saying, that volunteered us, you know what I'm saying. He recommended us to her when we was coming to Houston. He knew DMR was a network because he said I was with another network. Did he ever say it wasn't a network? Whoa. Cause she got receipt receipts on this video. Services DMR will provide you with First of all, we don't even know if this is the damn original contract or the bogus one she tried to get them to sign. We don't even know. Okay. Dreams made into reality. YouTube supports partner videos throughout automatically targeted ad formats. DMR generates revenues through advertisement, <coughs> product placement, sponsorships on behalf of the artists, creators, and brands ownership control the content you hereby agree or the duration of this agreement to give us full rights to monetize manage and distribute edit your content under dmr the non-exclusive right to use your name and likeness as well as whatever display your trademark blah 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 you hereby agree to enter the youtube partnership multi-platform digital distribution with dreams made into reality herein referred to DMR. All right, I guess she's showing us, and this is in her phone, but she's showing us that she is a network or whatever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He recommended us to her when we was coming to Houston. Uh, he's talking about Fred from Studio 71. Um, never did Fred recommend me to them. Fred and me were working on a project where we was gonna do this house with a group of YouTubers. And when we were gonna do the house, they were one of the couples that was assigned to Fred, so they were one of the couples that he mentioned. <clears throat> Damo and Chrissy, did, she didn't mark that out at all. In the house, so it might just work. See, Damo and Chrissy was Studio 71 too. Well, that channel was. Um, <clears throat> Everybody had that, you know, their mindset and my goal, like I said, you know, when they were old man and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, hit me up and was like, hey, I got this other person, you know what I'm saying, Houston, that could, you know, work with y'all as well. <clears throat> I agree. I don't see another manager putting anybody on another manager, so I, I agree with that. Especially if they are competition, because that would take the money out of his pocket. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. I never was 
given his number. He was given my number to call me. Yeah, I'm telling everybody to, oh, well, y'all who feel like this woman is going to help y'all, who feel like she's going to help us build our channel type stuff, y'all should come. Yeah. Like, and she was, at first, she was just asking for, you know, who she was asking for. Like, who she asked for. I know it was me and you. Yeah, it was me and you, and then it was supposed to be, um, Corey Carmen. Corey and Carmen. Carmen. It was Carmen. Carmen and Corey and stuff like that. And, uh -huh. like, I, I know Keith told him about, I know Keith told him about Christian Drake, but. All right, we're going to stop right here. First of all, I never ever ever asked for anybody Nika King Carmen Accord I didn't even know who they were I knew who King was but I didn't know who Neek was I knew who King was because he came to the house with Jazz and he was working with uh he came to the house with Armand and uh Trey's and Jazz house but he came with Funny Mike that's how I remember King other than that I've never met me prior to this time then on top of that I didn't know who Carmen Accord was at this time I didn't realize they were you know, Carmen and Corey. I'll explain that later. But it says, hey, this is King from Neek and King. When you get a chance, give us a call. There, And then I said, they are answering. Because what he's failing to mention, the reason why a lot of this stuff is popping off, what he's failing to mention is the reason why they were in Houston. They didn't just want to pull up in Houston. They was in Houston because they were supposed to be meeting with Damien and Bianca mm -hmm. from DNB Nation. But they pulled the okie doke and went out of town on them. So they were stuck here. So... You don't like smacking. I'm sorry. Good. I'm hungry. But, um, Damien and Bianca went out of town on them when they were supposed to meet them. I believe that. Oh, I believe that. These YouTubers real funny when it comes to meeting and times and shit like that. I believe that. So, since they were stuck here, that's how this happened. Mm. Read, I continue to read on. Now, mind you, you can't make this stuff up like some people have been making up. Yeah, that can work as well. We just hungry trying to work. I see. I love to drive. When you guys come over, maybe I can help you guys come up with some ideas. Text messages right here. I message Wednesday, January 24th at 7 o'clock p.m. Mind you, the first message comes from King. Hey, this is King from Nick and King. Will you get a chance to give us a call? I say they aren't answering. Little emoji. I don't know what these emojis mean sometimes with this one with her hand on her head. But if you want tomorrow, you guys can come over and work with Eric until you guys get with Dove. I spelled it wrong. I said DNB. Sorry. Yeah, it's always said that I never told him, but at the end of the day, I mean, oh my God. We brought him. Because we came deep to the house. Real deep. All right. So, mm. he is stating that he brought all of them and that he mentioned Chris and Trey. Never did he mention Chris and Trey. Never as in his message does he even mention Carmen and Corey. What he does say in the message, he pushes him and his girlfriend. He says, me and my girlfriend. Me and my girlfriend had 89K since we met. Now we at 250K. We still grinding. Yeah, that can work. All right. What time are you guys? going to be available and will the other group be with you if so we can do something real big i'm thinking yes that will be with me as well we move as one like family and anytime you tell me you want a link i'm there awesome 12 o'clock hmm. okay she was the one insinuating the ideas and also in Pretty much asking when they available. Maybe to uh, to to not make them feel like they came on a dummy mission. Maybe. Or she just, she wanted the bag. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't really tell. Had 89000 since we met. Now we at 250000 And we till grinding. <laughs> yeah, that can work. I said, alright, what time are you guys going to be available? And will the other group be with you? The other group is Carmen Accord. Not anywhere in his message does he mention Chris and Trey. I said, if so, we can do something real big, I'm thinking. He said, yes, that would be with me as well. We move as one like family. And anytime you tell me you want a link, I'm there. I said, awesome, 12 o'clock. Yo, I got, I got um, a nice little YouTuber that I would like to introduce y'all to. Which I already knew. Yeah, which, which he had already did a video. Um, he had already collabed with the person already. And he was like, oh yeah, I know her. Da, da, da. Which is jazz. Now, first of all, I never spoke with Nick. I didn't speak to Nick in 
because they physically got to my house. So when she's saying that, oh, I was like, yeah, I got this little YouTuber I want you to meet, that makes no sense because at that time, Ari was just, Ari was actually bigger than them at this time. Mm -hmm. Not that it matters, but just for clarification, you knew who she was because you had did a video with her. Numbers don't lie. Never would I tell her, um, yeah, I want you to work, I call you guys and say, yeah, I want you to work with this little YouTuber when she's already hanging with somebody that's bigger than all of y'all combined. That's true. Um, like, oh, yeah, That's true. Some videos today, and it'll be fun. Like, it'll be an introduction to all y'all and stuff like that. Y'all can do it at my house and stuff like that. <laughs> at that time, <clears throat> Ari was around Queen, Armand, and Trey. She was doing pranks with them, and she was also doing pranks with uh, I don't, I, I don't recall her doing a prank with the Enemy Nation, but she had access to them too. She right about that. And it was great at the first beginning like I felt like you know she she was kind yeah when when we first met her she was kind she we looked at her like oh this lady she she really like got a good heart like she and, and the first day the first day we met her the day after that we had got um our Airbnb was over and stuff yeah, like that yeah, put out <laughs> we got put out our Airbnb so she let us stay at her house and she yeah. was like oh yeah I think y'all should like act fast like y'all got it already first of all lies again let me explain to you why it's live. Because if you go back and you watch Corey's video when he went live, he said out his own mouth, I kept saying I didn't want to do this. I kept saying I didn't want to do this. I said I would help y'all, and that was that. Not only did I say I would help y'all, you missed a very, very, very important fact. You're saying like, oh yeah, it was fun. We came in the house when we was working. No, we didn't. Because your boy, your best friend, remember Corey, the one that y'all, Imano Imano, remember in his video, in his live, he stated that he didn't even want to come in the house. He told his part about the fact he was sitting outside of my house. He was sitting outside of my house. Corey didn't want to come because he was stuck on me and his idol. Dang. Oops. So we came down, Damien them actually had left. That's how you ended up meeting with today. What I did was, I don't actually, we came to Houston, I was supposed to meet with Damien, like, right? And so the reason why anybody even reached out to me is because I think they thought I was still managing the old squad because Fred didn't tell them everything. Mm. I don't know why Fred did, but I made it clear. Hey, if you're hitting me up because of them, I don't work with them anymore. Only person I'm connected to that I can even, even mention is Eric. Let's go back to text messages receipt. He said, good morning, we're about to head your way. I said, okay, is Eric, I said, okay, Eric is there. Is old boy coming with y'all? I wasn't at home, so I said, okay, Eric is there. And I said, is old boy coming with y'all? He said, yeah, he's coming this time. Hold up, because I want to read the other message. <clears throat> Honestly, King, I don't want to work with him, but off the strength of Trey and Chris, I will, because that's their way home. But that was mad disrespectful to not come in and speak and to prejudge me. Like, I can't work like that. I'm a free spirit and loving being me, motherly, open, giving, and thoughtful. So you did play the motherly role with them. Okay. Damon acts like him in some ways, but Damon was smart enough to hire me as of right now. He really can't afford me. So he got to come correct this time. No foolery. So prepare him. See you soon. Yeah, he's coming this time because the day before they had came without Corey. Corey didn't want to come because, again, like he said in his life, what's she going to do for me? Woo, 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 Like this lady, you know, he said I was a scammer, all this other stuff. So this is Corey. So they, they was like, you know, trying to talk to me and tell me, well, you know, Corey's saying this way. I'm going to give him this. Just like we all had perceptions of each other, my perception of King is that he was a leader in this situation because instead of me, because my attitude was like, I don't want to be bothered because I'm like, I just got out of a bad situation with a group of kids. I'm not trying to get into another situation. So this is what I said to King because when I got home, Corey's sitting outside or whatever, and he don't even come in. He don't say hi. He don't say nothing. I said, honestly, King, I don't want to work with him, but off the strength of Trey and Chris, I will because that's their way home. But that was mad disrespectful. Damn. Sound like to me they all was in a situation where they either had to do it, they kind of had to do it because... They were stuck. Somebody was somebody ride home. The NB Nation ain't show up. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, she brought receipt receipts. <laughs> she brought receipt receipts. I still don't think she's innocent. I'm not even about to play that role. But, however, she is coming with some receipts. 
Yeah, can't deny receipts. Okay. <laughs> to not come in and speak and to prejudge me. Like, I can't work like that. I'm a free spirit and love being me. Motherly, open, giving, and thoughtful. Damien acts like him in some ways, but Damien was smart enough to hire me as a right now. He really can't afford me. I was talking about Corey, and he sounded a little cocky, but mm, and I said, so he got to come correct this time. No foolery. So, pre pre so prepare him. See you soon. King's response. I totally understand where you're coming from, and hopefully he will come with an apology. Thanks for having us, right? So, cool. I'm liking the vibe. Kids was nice, everything. So now, let's jump up. Now they get here. Corey comes in, Corey comes in the door, cause now they done ran videos and they numbers that went up overnight. And so now I have proven myself per se. Not that I was trying to, cause mind you, the whole time I said I would help you. I wasn't interested in managing or working with anybody. Okay, so she, I guess her helping them was giving them ideas. So you do have to pay for ideas. Ideas are not free. Cause I'm trying to figure out how the hell she helped them because they could have came up with this shit by themselves, by the way. Like, she still didn't have to help them. She helped them as far as somewhere to stay because Damien and Bianca had them stranded. Yes. Obviously, they didn't have no more money because they couldn't afford the Airbnb anymore. Or they only had enough money to probably feed themselves, you know, gas, shit like that. Or being young, they just didn't want to. They'd rather sleep in the car. Okay. Um. So, she helped them as far as coming up with ideas for the videos. Cool. She did not bring all the people. But definitely came up with the ideas. Okay, I get that part. I was never making money like this, so that's probably one of the reasons why I was getting, you know, really, really right. worried about it. So, our first check, she, so they took the last check when we first got it, and then the next one came around. She repeats it again. They took the first check, and then the next one came around, and then they were about to take, they took that money again. That was, you want to tell them how much? No. Okay. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. But um, when that happened overnight, uh, she was supposed to be getting a certain amount of money from our uh, our money. Yeah, so she she told us, you know, she took like like I said, she told us that she wasn't gonna make us pay. But when we did get paid, she ended up getting the the percentage that she, we usually would pay her. She ended up getting. She told us that oh. Um, I'm sorry, y'all, but I help y'all get this, so I'm gonna have to get my percentage. They don't have nothing to do with me. I want to fight for this first month. Nick and King, February. Okay. She didn't show the amount. The won't get it that pays out next month. What? I guess they won't get it. This pays out next month. We so confused. Talk tomorrow. Relax and pray for God's favor. You're going to be fine. Uh, any extreme ideas today? Worms in your bed. Okay. She's insinuating that the pranks are fake. <laughs> we still ain't get paid. Hmm. Unless the last check coming from studio and it's coming on the 1st. We're going to have to see, but I'm really upset because people mess things up for everyone else, for everyone else. I'd rather stay here and try and get some work done if I can. Yeah, understand. Okay. I've been on that. I look soon as I open my eyes this morning. Hopefully tomorrow. LOL, just pray for it. Haven't gotten paid. Okay, so they made it seem like they gave her the first month. Because <clears throat> well, what she said, well, what Neek said was they uh, they didn't get that check because they took that first check, actually. Then the second check was half. So the first month, they wasn't supposed to pay her because they didn't get the damn check. The second month, they got half of it. And I'm sure they wasn't trying to pay her because... Ooh, when 15% come from me, I hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? So they probably didn't want to pay her. That's not right because they were supposed to pay her. But with her, she's not proving her saying that she told them they didn't have to pay. That's the part she's not proving. So I don't know if that's truth or not because now she's bringing receipts that is going against what they said in the first place. 
April 2nd. So from January all the way to April, y'all ain't get no money? Ain't no way in the fuck. Hey, check and see if you got paid today. I've been on that. I look soon as I open my eyes this morning. Hopefully tomorrow, LOL, just pray on it. Haven't gotten paid. Well, it's okay. You know they won't get the next one. Okay. Drop the video. So she was telling them when to drop the video, what time, and all kind of shit. So she actually was working. Uh oh. She was like, uh, but I'm gonna have to get this much a percent of what y'all originally got, not So, um, she ended up. Okay, so since King said it, I'm just gonna co sign it because I didn't say the percentage. Now, you gotta understand something. It's easy to give somebody 20% of $1,000, right? You know what I'm saying? That's $200. You're not pressed about giving away $200. Try having thirty or forty thousand dollars, and you got to give away twenty percent. Then you start kind of feeling some kind of way. You start feeling like, well, what you do for me? Uh, well, what about this and what about that? That's what what he basically saying. She's saying that they first check that they got is that um the it was a low check. It was it was what they were already getting prior to being with me. That's when and when I came in, it was like the last two weeks of that period. And so the first two weeks they had already did that work when they was all together in Miami. And then when they got with me, the work that they put in towards the end increased that check, but it still wasn't, you know, really, really big. It was more than what they usually was getting, but it wasn't really big. So what ended up happening is we continued to work. I told them at the beginning, when you're signed to a network, your channel is connected with the network. When your channel is connected with the network, the reason why they do that is for two reasons. Everybody think it's just a security thing. It's not just a security thing. Optimization, back-end stuff that needs to be done to your channel, um, SEO, titles, tags, multiple things need to be done to your channel. Video content as far as the description. That you can actually do yourself. <laughs> I'm learning something with this video right here, baby. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, you can actually learn all of this by yourself. But okay. X, Y, and Z. Multiple things have to be done to your channel. And so when I have access to it, I'm sorry, MCN has access to it. They're able to go in and do this without hitting you up, asking you like, hey, can you log me in? That's true. And on top of that, they also study your analytics. Your analytics is super important to your growth. Okay, I was about to say, my question is how do you... How didn't you know they didn't get paid, but she didn't have that access? Because she wasn't the one cutting checks. That's for another video. But that that's why you have to have access to, you know, your, your content creator's channel. Not to control them, but to make sure that everything on their channel is the way it's supposed to be. To do research to say, like, hey, we dropped this video, and based on the analytics with this video, this isn't a good content for us. We need to do something different. So that's the reason why you um, MCNs have the uh, access to your channel. Okay. This music is killing me. So um, she ended up getting 20% of our original. Like, Sound like somebody about to start doing karate like, <laughs> That's what this music sounds like. Okay. For what we thought we was gonna make, she asked for twenty percent of what we thought we was gonna make, and we ended up getting half of that. So she wanted twenty percent of what we were supposed to make, and not half of that. If you get what I'm saying. So we ended up getting her way more money. Instead of taking ten, she, she took twenty. Because to, if you calculate twenty percent, I'm sure we, we can tell you how much we uh, got you. I mean, we got that big check, but if you calculate that, it's like we ended up getting a little bit of no money. But they didn't include they that well they couldn't pay her the first month because the check got taken and they're not about to give you money out their pocket that they got to survive i wouldn't have shit you would have had to have my debit card in order for you to take the little bit of money i got in my pocket for me to have gas and food and shit i will not so i get that part Granted, they're, they're supposed to do what they're supposed to do. It is what it is. But I'm not saying. I'm just saying in that case, I wouldn't have either. And if I'm not getting a whole check, which means I'm about to be two months in the hole, that's tough. But that's the position that they put themselves in. You know what I'm saying? So in that case, they were wrong. Yeah. First of all, that makes no sense. If you're saying that you got a check 
that you got little to no money and you know that was our first morning we, we you know we stayed that don't make sense because again you're implying that somebody took something that they wasn't entitled to and you and I both know that's not facts let me explain why it's not facts now you know I have much respect for you know both of their parents and let me explain why I have respect for both of their parents for one of the most important things is is that everybody want to play the kid role when it's convenient and everybody want to be adult when you know when it's convenient I so agree. let's just give them the kid role for 2.5 seconds let's pretend that they 14 15 and i signed them to my network because that's another thing too network this manager stuff they talking about network but i'll inform you on that in a minute if i sign them to my network right and i'm working with them and they 14 15 let's just say that age you're both of their parents spoke with me before they signed anything. I stayed on the phone with Meek's mom and her other mom, and I spoke with them and learned about the contract. They said, it looks good, but let us have our attorney look it over. Let us have our attorney look it over. And I said, okay, no problem. So after an attorney looked it over, or whatever the case may be, it returned back signed. Now, let's jump a little bit further. As soon as they signed the contract, uh, King's parents, his father, his uncle, and his mom came to my house, sat in my living room, and talked to me for a good two hours about what I can do for their son, about what my business was about, and if I really thought that they could go to the next level. And I looked them in their face, and I said, yes. And his parents was like, well, he's never been this far away from us, and, you know, we just want to make sure that he's safe, because I can get to him, but it'll take me a minute to get to him. We laughed, and I said, he's good. I'm going to make sure that they okay. And I did. So good. Everybody was the Final Destination music is killing me. But. Y'all know how I am with receipts. Oh. So. You talked it over with my mama. My stepmama. My daddy. My uncle. My, my other people. And my other people. Right. You done spoke with everybody you need to speak with. I. I didn't only just make the decision by myself since I'm a child. I also gave it to adults that are a little more knowledgeable than me. And they agreed. Eating type stuff like that. You know, the work ethic was good. Like, then they had like situations and stuff like that about, you know, like everybody start going at it, like be going at it with Carmen and Corey and stuff uh -huh. like that. All that stuff plays in time, so we enough for like really enough. Let's not leave there. He said out his mouth, me, Carmen, and Corey, we start going at it. But then he wanted to jump further. But I broke up this relationship. But you saw the text message that says they came in as a family, they move as a family. First of all, let me explain something. This theory that they have and this theory that they pushing, talking about I was dividing and conquering and I was breaking up relationships, that makes no sense. Because anybody know, if I break y'all up, that messes with my money. Let's just call it what it is. If you guys understand that I'm so greedy and it's all about... See, that's my point. That was my point from the jump. Why the hell would she have all of them fall out when she would lose her cash? Because if one don't agree, you know what, after this, I don't want to work with none of them no more. Okay, boom. That that stops you from messing with them. Now they can't work together. Now I'm out of a couple thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? I get that on this group. Now I don't know about the last, but I get that on this one. A dollar. Why would I break y'all up? Because if y'all break up, ain't no Nick and King. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Yeah. Well. Aside from the uh, aside from the uh, last destination music, um, y'all, as far as I'm concerned, she had receipt receipts, receipt receipts. Like, ain't no coming away from them receipts. <laughs> oh shit! Now I still don't think she's innocent. I just think she damn show. Sure proved her point in this video she proved her point in this video for real for real this this didn't sound like manipulation uh she showed that she didn't want them to be in the damn group i mean she showed that she really didn't know it ain't that she showed that she didn't want them 
I disagree with myself on that one because she, she, she didn't have to bring them to her house, period. And she didn't want them to be involved. But maybe she wanted them to feel, you know, safe uh, at home. Because Damien and Bianca had them stranded. And technically, they had to get an Airbnb for no reason because they thinking they gonna be at Damien and Bianca house. So they thinking they wasn't gonna have to pay nothing. Now they came out of pocket for this Airbnb. So coming out of pocket for that, they losing money that they ain't even planning on spending anyway. Mind you, they all the way across the world, you know what I'm saying? They gotta pay for gas and all, to eat all this shit while they in a whole nother state that they know nothing about. So DMB Nation had them stranded and um, then they end up getting with Janae and it was murder she wrote. Now, I feel like Janae proved her point in this video. She proved her point in this video right here. So I'm ready for the rest of the parts. But as far as I'm concerned, she ain't that damn guilty, y'all. If she spoke to the mamas and the papas and the uncles and all that shit, and they agreed and they sent it back, she didn't just speak with them then. She spoke with the rest of them, like Eric said, that was true. So after she spoke with them, they sent it back. They signed it. Boom. You up under me. But you're not giving me my money because of situations which Janae played herself on. She knew if they was leaving that other network, it was a possibility for them either to, to get paid or to not get paid. So she wasn't getting that money in the beginning. So that's the part that I don't want her to play victim on. You knew you wasn't going to get that money. But when they finally had the money come in, she didn't really express that much either about them giving her that money either. She kind of ignored the whole 20% and the giving up the money shit. On, on the half she was well, she said that don't make sense but i didn't feel like she i didn't feel like she showed enough proof on that one you know what i'm saying <clears throat> but as far as i'm concerned they both wrong they both are wrong and janae is the one who, who's who's pretty much left assed out and looking like this bad person now i see why she's defending herself so stay tuned for part three